just doesn't have a, it's not a direct pinning. Okay, so I'll pick you know, one. The only one? trouble with that is then I can't actually see those that okay. lyric sheet. So I can use this there. Oh, look at that. No expense spared. That's beautiful. Down a bit would be even better, if that's possible. Might not be. That's it. Okay. I will sit more upright. La 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 la. Is that good? Beautiful. Alright. Uh, so, hello. My name's Claire. And. <laughs> I feel like saying I haven't. I've been sober for 10 days. <laughs> Just something about the way everyone's sitting and it's so affectionate. It's right. like, you can oh, trust yeah. us. <laughs> so um, I think I'll play a song I'm more familiar with first. And I will tell you that it was inspired in San Francisco, where I typically live. I'm down here just putting my feelers out in the area. And um, and I had been going to San Francisco State. Every time I walked past a particular area to get onto the, the Muni system, there was this woman who would sit on a blue milk crate asking for money. And she just had this incredible light around her. And she just seemed like she really had her shit together, like up here. And of course, that got me thinking about stuff and happiness and this idea that if we have stuff then we should be happy but this lady didn't seem to have much stuff and yet she seemed to be really like content more than content I see Sometimes I walk across the other street I feel so embarrassed, indiscreet And sometimes I wonder if things were reversed Would the feelings be the same, better or worse?
Spacey. Um, <laughs> I'm Claire and I haven't eaten for three hours. <laughs> uh, so I'm actually going to play you one that only I will be able to hear the B section because, <laughs> because I, yes, it's all in my mind. Um, but I happened, there was a very serendipitous occurrence of timing and I was sitting in the garden in this house that I'm renting a room in, in Venice. And without realizing it, it was actually the day where my one and only marriage was officially annulled, I think is the word, or divorced or dissolved or something. But that was like the day, and it happened to be a Sunday. And I'd forgotten this, although I was very aware of it up until that point. So I was sitting in the garden with my guitar, and one of the housemates walked past, and as he left, he just said, I really hope you write a great song today that brings you all the happiness and joy that you want. And off he went. And I thought, wow, I wonder if I can live up to that. What a nice idea. And I actually wrote a song, which sort of surprised me, because that wasn't the plan at all. I was just out there to sing, really, with the tree. And so um, I will enjoy the B section. <laughs> I'll have to forward that to you at another point in time, because it's in the studio. <laughs> on a piano. Um, so it'll sound very simple, as it is. Um. Listening, listening for an answer
Local heroes. <laughs> 